so this one I wanted to show how I can how you can create a scene uh, in ZBrush. So what I'm doing is taking um, the mannequin that they have a human mannequin and I'm stretching it into the shape of a spider, uh, which is pretty cool. You know, you can create this kind of like uh, armature on the fly, which is pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, I'm just showing different ways or different views of how I created the spider. I created two humans stretched them out um, and was able to create an eight-legged creepy character. So, um, and then I took my female character that I already had from the other demo, dragged her on, and then uh, dragged some rocks on there, backpacks. And, uh, you know, what, basically what I'm doing is um, kit bash, you know, what they call kit bash. So very few of the things I'm actually creating besides the main character, but I'm just uh, using things that are available in ZBrush. I think I got the rocks from um, Bad King, the Bad King website, and I duplicated the uh, spider, and I duplicated my character again as well. So anyway, um, once I have my little scene kind of put together, uh, I'm taking a look at it in ZBrush just to see the silhouette because it's a pretty complicated um, image just to see uh, maybe certain angles that might be good when I bring it into uh, into Keyshot. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, just to, just in general, in general, you can create um, uh, three dimensional scenes that could be referenced for your illustration, or you can use it for actual illustration work and paint overs and things like that. It's a really, really amazing tool. So once I have my uh, scene created, I'm going to um, start playing around materials. Um, another thing too, is like with realistic sculpture, real sculpture, it's very difficult to do this. You can, if you paint your character with uh, a certain material and then you don't like it, and you repaint it, and you repaint it, you start losing more and more detail, um, which I've done several times. So with this, you can keep changing your mind and never lose any detail. It's pretty incredible. This is a, inside Keyshot is something called, it's like a warehouse, which everybody uses, but it just creates this uh, just great sense of lighting. I always go back to the warehouse. Um, so I'm using the warehouse for lighting and then I'm dragging in my own photograph in the background, which is like a blurred photo of a wall or something like that. And then I'm using this uh, this uh, material. It's like a bone uh, material, which is great, but it takes a long time to render. So um, uh, for the final renders, I didn't actually render them as long. You have to kind of keep it baking in the oven longer to get the to get it to really look good. I think I had them rendering for 10 minutes, but you can render that bone texture for like a half an hour or an hour to make it look really great, but I just kind of lost my patience. But you get the idea here, and it's like, it's really cool because it's like you're creating, uh, or I'm creating my own toys, you know, literally. Uh, but they can float in the air, something that you can't do with sculpture, you know, that wire wouldn't support that character floating in the air there. Uh, it reminds me of these photographs I used to stare at when I was a kid. These G.I. Joe photographs. I used to set up these scenes of G.I. Joe. And, and I was in this my View Viewmaster 3D viewer. And I would stare at these scenes. And they kind of look sort of like these Keyshot renderings, you know. So a lot of the stuff I'm doing now, I'm kind of revisiting childhood in a lot of, a lot of ways. And this is great because it's like you have your own toy factory you know, in ZBrush, but you never run out of materials. You buy the program once and you've got endless materials, endless legs, endless bodies, endless backpacks and space helmets and rocks. And, you know, you can literally create an entire imaginary world, you know, thousands of worlds, millions of worlds, you know, without having to run to the hardware store every five minutes or to the toy store every five minutes, which I used to do to the dollar store to buy plastic model parts. And I'd run out of all the good parts. And I'd be like, oh my God, I gotta buy more parts, right? Where here, you can just kind of duplicate those parts over and over again. So anyway, here are some renders uh, of that uh, scene with my spider. Alrighty, anyway, thanks again for listening. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>